What's up guys, my name is Vic. Some of you guys might know me as Vic Almighty from social media. In this series of restorations, I'm gonna be showing you how to do midsole repaints, suede redyes, deep cleans, custom work, and so much more. Check us out every Monday at 7 p.m. for a new episode of Restoration with Vic. Thank you guys for watching. What's up YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of Restoration and Vic. Thank you guys for tuning in. Today we're going to be working on a pair of Raging Bull 5s. What we're going to be doing to the shoe is give the shoe a full deep clean using Rejuvenator products. Once the shoe is all dry, we're going to go ahead and use the brass brush to reset the nap. After that, I'm going to show you how to redye the suede. I always suggest using a pair of shoe trees whenever you're cleaning a pair of sneakers. When cleaning delicate suede, you don't want to scrub aggressively. I always recommend using a suede brush only. Any other brush can possibly damage the material. Whether it's new book, leather, or suede, make sure you always clean in a circular motion. If you know you're redying the suede, then you can give the shoe several passes since you don't have to worry about losing color. Alright, so we're going to let these sit for a few hours, then we'll be back to reset the nap on the suede using this brass brush. Alright, so we're back after letting the shoes dry overnight. We're going to go ahead and use the brass brush to reset the nap on the suede. The brass brush is an important tool when cleaning suede. It helps by bringing back the original soft texture after they've been cleaned. Important tip when using the brass brush. Only brush in one direction. Going back and forth can permanently ruin the suede. Alright, so the next thing we're going to do is prep the shoes to get them ready for the suede redye. What I'm going to be doing is taping all the areas that are not suede on the shoe. Let's get started. It's always good to have a pair of small scissors or an X-Acto knife to get into tight corners or eyelids when needed. Don't worry about perfectly taping the black sock liner or taping the 23 inch jump man because the dye won't stain it. Alright, so we got the shoes all taped up. We're ready to apply the red dye through this airbrush. I think I purchased my airbrush from Harbor Freight for under 100 bucks. It's a really good deal if you're looking to pick one up yourself. With that being said, let's get started. When airbrushing, you want to make sure you're doing quick size back and forth to not oversaturate it because the end results can't be spotty. To get that factory finish, it can take several coats depending how faded they are. Once I'm done applying the dye, I like to go over it with an all-purpose brush to make sure the dye was evenly applied. Alright, so the redye process is all complete. We're ready to move on to the midsoles. I'm not going to be stripping the teeth just because it only needs tiny touch-ups, unlike the rest of the shoe, as you can see. I'm going to be using acetone and cotton box to strip the old paint. Let's get started.
Alright, so we're all taped up now. We're ready to get started on the missile repaint. We're going to be using fire red, black, and white that can be purchased from shoemaker.com. We're going to go ahead and get started on the white using this angular brush. Now that the white is laid down, we can move on to the black paint. Alright, so the paint job is all complete now. The next thing we're going to do is tape up the uppers, get them ready for the matte finish. Alright, so the next thing we're going to do is spray the matte finish. All it needs is a few swipes. For those of you wondering, I use Cryon Matte Finish. Alright, so after letting the finish dry for a little while, we're ready to remove the tape and release the shoes. Alright, so that's going to wrap it up on the restoration part. All we're going to do now is apply the Rejuvenator Defender to the brand new suede. You see when I rub my hand over the freshly dyed suede that it bled very easily. A few coats of Rejuvenator Defender will stop that from happening. We suggest you apply 2-3 to three coats with a 20-30 to 30 minute in between application. Let them sit overnight before wear. Alright guys, so that's going to wrap it up on these Raging Bull 5s. I showed you how to de-clean the shoe, re the uppers, repaint the midsoles, and protect the suede using Rejuvenator Defender. You can find all these products at Rejuvenator.com and don't forget to use my promo code VIC20 to save an extra 20% at checkout. Tune in next Monday for another episode of Restoration of Vic and thank you guys for watching.